Now, every year we release back into the community 100 uh, sex offenders. Now, based on the statistics, uh, about 5% of those will re-offend within three years for a sexual offence, which is far lower than the general prison population, but it is a pretty heinous crime when they do actually do that. So we're talking about five of those individuals will re-offend uh, and be prosecuted for uh, sexual offences. Now, it is true that in relation to sexual offences, uh, to, against children. The vast majority involves someone who uh, the, is known to the family. But 70% of the minister are outside the immediate family. The Rape Crisis Network produced statistics which Minister Hayes gave on your behalf here last October, which said that 7% uh, were strangers. And we all accept that, that strangers are a relatively small cohort of it. 31% were close family members. Well, that means that 69% were friends, were neighbours, were new partners who were outside that immediate circle. And these are people who have built up uh, a relationship and trust within that family circle, who have groomed not just the child, but groomed the family as well. And, and we cannot get away from that fact. And that is where the big risk is associated with this. And just to give you an example of why I think the register needs to be reformed. If tomorrow morning someone is released having served their sentence from Arbor Hill, within seven days they must register with the Garda station. There's nothing to stop them going to Bantry Garda station uh, in West Cork uh, and, and registering uh, there and giving their address uh, as residing in Mallonhead in Donegal. Now that person can spend six out of seven days in Wexford working in that community, building up relationships with families in that community, and once they return on the seventh day to Mallonhead in Donegal, they are complying with the existing law as it stands at the moment. And that is why we need to urgently reform the legislation in relation to the Sex Offenders Register. Well, I don't remaining. believe that it can wait another 12 months. We have waited far too long in relation to that. And that's why I've made the argument that we need disclosure laws in this country to put on a statutory footing what already is there on an administrative basis, foreign guard the Shia Khanna, so the parents have, in limited circumstances, access to information regarding some of these individuals who come uh, from somewhere, we don't know where, uh, turn up, start building relationships, start grooming not just the children, but start grooming the parents, the families, the communities that they are residing in, because that's where we have a safe haven for sex offenders. And this existing law, as it stands at the moment, as your predecessor has said, is facilitating that happening at the moment. And I would urge you, Minister, I think it does need an emergency piece of legislation to close off that particular loophole. It has gone on far too long. It is exposing uh, children to unnecessary risk. And I would hope that we can deal with this, not just in a comprehensive manner, but also deal with the loopholes that are there and deal with them in an urgent manner and give them the priority that they deserve. Thank you.